Hey guys, so I'm gonna bring you along on a project that I've been working on in our motorhome. Um, we are slowly remodeling our motor coach here. This is just for your curious, this is an 03 Fleetwood uh, Revolution made by uh, American Coach. American. But anyway, so what I'm doing, a lot of these has the old fluorescent lights in them. So all right here you'll see this old fluorescent light they're okay, but they're they're not very bright. Um, and so what I've been doing is swapping out this the insides with LED. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you as I go along kind of the process of that. Uh, if you will come over here, I'll show you what it already looks like. We have a couple more, but so here's one that I've already done. If you tell that, see the huge difference in the brightness. So I'm gonna show you how I did that, and in case y'all are interested in doing something like that. All right, first of all, we're gonna take the shroud off here. And just as I get going here, if you like what I've been doing or if you learn anything, just give me that thumbs up and the like and subscribe. We are, this is a Live Today Like It Matters, our channel. The old fluorescent tubes. And you, I'm just using the same housing, but I'm just going to take the guts out, if you will, the insides of all the wires and this whole stuff here. I have turned the switch off, so it, there is no power up here. Just so you're, so you're aware. So, what I usually like to do is this, each of these are set up a little differently. So there's the switch here, which it still uses. So I'm just going to, I'm going to see if I can bring this wire. Usually, I have to take this whole light down. There's a chance that I could just bring these wires through, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. I'll get so lucky. We're going to try. Ah, there's one. And there's two. So what happens on the other ones I've done is I've usually just had to, there's four screws holding this whole fixture up and there's two wires coming in into the back of it and what I've had to usually do is pop these screws out, put the whole fixture down and then run these wires into the, usually they come into the side. So this is the unit, the first unit's come into the center here. But anyway, they have two wires here. This is all low voltage. Most RV lights are 12 volt. So um, we're going to run this here. So we're still going to have the way of a ball switch here and then the switch on the unit on the light itself. So, but first of all, like I said, first we're going to just get rid of all this stuff. So we'll still use this switch, but we're not going to use any of this stuff. So we can just kind of get this stuff out of here. No longer going to use the fluorescent side of this. You can, you can cut these out. Uh, you can just leave them in there. I might just kind of the other ones I just pulled it out or you can just you can just lay these up in there like that keep them out of the way and then just got to pull this thing down here and on this it's gonna kill the power to that which is already off but what it's worth that's what we're gonna do so sometimes I like to use some of these wires just for a little extra stuff, but anyway, there we go. Oops, not pulled my fixture out. So there's the guts. We're just taking that out. I'm going to get rid of it. Clean up this stuff here for some rivets. Kind of get all this stuff out of here. This really out here. Leave all that stuff in there. So I'm gonna rescrew this because I kind of pulled this down. It wasn't a very good connection or something. I don't really have that sticking on anything. Let's see if I can get a bite on something a little better. There we go. 
So now, now what, I'm show, what I'm gonna go is I'm gonna show you what I used. And now I mentioned we're gonna do the LED. Sorry it was kind of dark in here, but as you see, we're working on the light. So what I end up going with is this is what I got off Amazon. These are LED strips. Um, there are several in here. I'll have to look and count, I think, how many there actually comes in here. Uh, but it's a pack of 10, so 10 of these. So what it looks like is I already have opened a pack is these right here. There's little metal strips here, the LED street D strips. And now you can connect these together to add more if you were a longer application. They come with these little snaps here. But you can also cut these. They have little lines in here where you can cut these strips to make it fit. And that's what I have to usually do on this. So I have two here and I'll run you could run one in there. These are pretty bright, but I'm gonna run two. So I usually first of all we'll kind of measure this to see how long it should be and this looks like we'll be right there so then i just take some cutters here cut right along that line and then i know they're both going to be the same so i can use that as a mark have them both ready to go all right so now i got them both cut to fit so you should fit right up in there now we're going to wire it up now i'm using stakeons here are just some basic stakeons you can get here on Amazon or Walmart or your automotive store or something like that. And I have a set of crimps and some um, some strippers. So it's really the main tools. But so now on this, you're still gonna use this switch. Alright, so now we're wiring this thing up. Um I'll show you here what I'm doing. Sec. I'm gonna strip these wires. Okay, so basically we had the power come into the switch, and so we were gonna use the switch, otherwise you can just go directly to and these are um, positive and negative, so you're gonna have to just make sure you could try one side or the other since it's low vo low voltage to make sure you have the right. But since this case we're gonna I've already done a few of these, so I'm gonna run in on the power on one switch and then break it over here. So the outside so we're, what I'm doing is twisting these together so kind of doing this I don't think I have another two stake on another two so uh, you can use a small wire nuts or you can use small stake ons and so I have these little stake ons so I'm gonna go ahead and get this side prepped put these little wires in and crimp it do a little tug test to make sure we're secured like that. Alright, and then we can pull in this other side. So what I'm doing is I'm twisting these little, these are really thin wires, so a little trick I do is I twist these together and then I bend them over. And so it just gives a little bit more to grab in that stake on. So, and then put that, and sometimes if you want to, you can stick them both in there and do a test before you crimp them to make sure. Turn the wall switch on. Oops, pop down. Boop. So I just turned them around. Very bright as you can tell. Make, that's why I did the little test to make sure the blacks with the, the color of your wire could change or so I don't want to tell you really, but just do that little test to see um, if you have Make sure you have the light, the, the right line in and out, because it does matter on this little voltage. So then we're gonna cramp these together, like so. Get a good, good cramp. I'll put a little electrical tape on this, just to make sure that these stay together. These are such small wires. Kind of helps it. There. Test. So, let's see, super easy, it's pretty quick to do, and it changes the light tremendously. So, now the wiring is basically all done, now we can just get these up here, clean this a little bit, and all they do is they're self-adhesive, they have a little strip, strip on the back, so just kind of figure out where you want to put it, fill this little 
tape back off here and just see where you want to put it and stick it up and kind of push it out of it push it out there a little bit like so you can see that there's one of them and I'm going to tuck these little wires out behind this little metal thing here and it just helps hold everything in place and then I can even tuck these wires back up in the light fixture like it was there you go trying to touch it still like so line this up I get it close Such. Now I just tuck all, like I said, I'll tuck all these wires here on the end, clean it up a little bit, press these in, and that's about it. I'm going to put the cover back on. So as you can see now, it's just really slim line. We put the LEDs in there, and super bright. We'll just put this, before we get lighted, put our cover back on. And that's about it. Boom, and there's our bright light. So super simple. Um, like I said before, I will put a description in here in the, in the list in the link below. Click that link. It does help me out a little bit uh, for the affiliates there, but I really appreciate that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Easy swap out. I've already done most of them in the code chain. I got a couple more, and then we have this bright, lot bright lighter than we had before. So anyway, now it's just clean up and go from there. Y'all have a good day.